Like that's that's one thing that PoE is sorely missing. It is a good working method to bring new players into the game. And one day, one day Chris is gonna wake up in the morning and he is gonna go, you know what? Today's the day. I'm making a team and we're gonna and we're gonna fundamentally reorient the new player experience. And I think that that's the day that, because it's got such an amazingly strong foundation, but it's so hard for people to see it that aren't invested in it. Um, yeah, I, I yeah, I have big hopes for PoE 2. I have big hopes for PoE 2, absolutely. Um, I But here's the thing, like PoE 2 is still gonna be on PoE and it, it that I, like have they actually said that the new player experience is gonna be changed in PoE 2? Has that, has that been something they're really talking about or are people just kind of assuming that it, it's gonna be there? Yeah, I don't think they really have. So, <laughs> so I, I think I think that, I, so what I said what I said originally stands. I mean, I, I really hope they decide to do that one day because I, I think that would fundamentally like bring their game to the masses, so to speak. But yeah, the game is amazing. PoE is amazing, but it is so intimidating. It is so intimidating. If 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 a if a player wants to excel at the game even a little bit, then it becomes so overwhelming so quickly that all of a sudden you decide your time is better spent elsewhere. And um, and I feel I feel like especially as a streamer, I've seen it happen so many times in the community where people have just been like trying to keep up with that game and not able to. So I, they just have to, they just have to, something has to give, something has to change. Um, like there has to, there has to be some, some new fundamental system in the game that makes it so it's not a chore to learn how to play it properly. And the problem is every time they do an expansion, they make the game bigger, <laughs> which is like, it's like they're literally sprinting away from the answer to this problem. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> it's, like even me, even me, I, I there, like, there's a new PoE league coming soon. And I was thinking about this yesterday and there's a part of me that's legit nervous. Like, okay, I've missed a couple leagues how much am I going to miss out on this league just because I don't know what's been added into the game? A Freak says, that's what makes PoE unique, though. That's true, but that doesn't... You, 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 in this case, you can have your cake and eat it, too. You can have it be complex and awesome and still have a, fundamental awesome, have a fundamentally cool new player onboarding experience. Or, you, you know, you can even a, a, expand that term. It doesn't necessarily need a new player onboarding experience. It needs some easy way to catch people up that haven't played for a few leagues, for instance. That's not just a few help clicks in a man in a in a manual, you know. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I again, I, I know there's an answer to this, but I don't know what the answer is. It's interesting because, okay, get this, get this. Somebody, I, I was talking with somebody about something different than this, but then the conversation actually kind of like, and this was about a different game, but I just thought how this could apply to PoE. And I don't, I, this, this, uh, some of you are gonna roll your eyes at this. I'll tell you right now, some of you are gonna roll your eyes at this, but I want you to think Think forward-looking with what I'm about to say, okay? Think forward-looking. What if there was an option to have an AI companion in the game that would talk to you and suggest, like, things that you could do to make your character better, things that could explain mechanics, things that could like explain new things, a clippy, except it was like about all of the stuff in the game, basically a tutorial buddy. 
Now, of course, you wouldn't need to use it. Of course, and, and 90% and, and 90 of people wouldn't have to. But I bet you there are people who are like, so you're saying I could basically have like a voice that's constantly explaining what I need to know to actually play and enjoy the game there? I think I and, I, and I think there's a way to do that without making it like a voice. Like there's lots and lots and lots of ways to do it. Um, but like, I wonder if the, if the solution is something like that. Like when a game gets so large that you could literally take classes in it and not be caught up. And something like that was done well. Yeah, okay, here's, here's another option. Imagine if you could have like an in-game little picture in the top left of your screen that was someone like Zazarin giving you tips and suggesting things. And like if a new mechanic came up, there'd be a little button at the bottom that says like Ziz help. And you click that and Ziz pops up and he's like, oh, hey, so this mechanic was introduced a few patches ago and it's really good if you want this, this and this item and blah, 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 blah. And it could, and, and you know, it didn't have to be this, of course, but I mean, anyone, it could be some guy from, from that place. Like, imagine if there was just some easy way to bring up an explanation of everything in the game. Who is Ziz? Oh, I'm sorry. Zizarin is a big uh, a PoE streamer. It could also be Ziggy D or like any of those guys. Um, people that are good or ex good at explaining things, for instance. But, you know, I feel like something like that could really push PoE more mainstream, which it deserves to be. The game's freaking incredible. So it deserves to have more people on there. But yeah. Yes, yeah, Suzu from my mod team would also be excellent for that, I guess. I agree. Anyway. Let's get these points in. Uh, more. Oh, we got decoy. Here we go. Decoy here. Let's put you. Now, can I actually, actually sh uh, summon a shadow? No, I don't think I. Oh, no, there he is. What did he do? He didn't do anything. Does he just run around and punch people in the face? How does that work? Uh, Julia says, okay, that's just me, so don't get mad. But to me with PoE, it feels like empty complexity. Like it's just layers and layers of convoluted stuff that covers a game that looks always the same. First of all, I'm furious at you. But second of all, I think that the phrase, um, I think that the phrase of, of just convoluted extra, I think those two words together are a perfect explanation about, about Path of Exile. But I think that that's what some people love about it. I think that some people love the fact that this game that they actually understand and love playing constantly is challenging them to learn and do better and, 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 and figure things out and things like that. So I, I do think that sometimes, especially when it gets to like uh, some of the newer mechanics and like, for instance, think of like, what was, what was that mechanic they introduced a few years ago that was crazy? Like the whole, um, the one with the heroes and you had to like jail some and, and, and interrogate others. And like, it just became this wildly complicated, like overly complex, unnecessarily difficult syndicate. Like the, like that was ridiculous. Are you kidding me? That you could literally take a three hour online course in learning how to properly manage that stuff and still have barely any idea what you're doing um, <laughs> to do it properly. And yeah, I would agree. I think that, I think a lot of that stuff is just complicated for the sake of complexity. But I think that that's what a lot of people love about the game. I think they like kind of figuring that stuff out and piecing it together. And, and, and I think the whole complex for the sake of complexity is what is kind of the dragon they're chasing in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, I think that's what PoE is in a lot of ways. But I, I think there's a way to still introduce people and more importantly, kind of like slightly guide people in what they're looking for and that kind of stuff. Uh, did my primalist die? No, I just want to start a new character. I mean, hell, I've been playing PoE. I have, how many hours do I have in PoE? I have 893 hours in Path of Exile. And I still feel like a goddamn noob. I really do. I feel like a, and I am, I am essentially, I'm a noob at the game with just under 900 hours. 
I feel like a casual. Um, and, 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 <laughs> there's no other game I could even flirt with the idea of saying that with, which is kind of funny. Um, but even, like, I, even, even then, like, with, with almost 900 hours, I still find new leagues intimidating. Because I generally always, like, skip a league, and I'm like, okay, what do I need to know from the last one? What do I need to know from this one? What did I miss? What, what, what got included? What didn't? You know, what leagues did they keep? Is this, is this one with that? Is this, is a new league mechanic good? How does that work? And it's just like all these questions. But I'm still, I'm still looking forward to it, but you know, it's just a lot, man. Yeah, DOS, yeah, for sure. Have they, have they uh, announced anything about the new mechanic coming out this league, by the way? Oh, dude, these things are really hurting me. Not yet? Cool. I'm sure Bex will toy with us soon, most likely. As she does. I gotta actually somewhat focus on this. Whoa, okay. God, I'm getting used to the, uh, I got used to the dodging in Diablo, man. I actually really like that mechanic. There we go. Good, good, good. All right. Oh, we got some resist here. Void and physical. We'll take both of those. Um, nothing else really good, unfortunately. All right, let's keep moving. I really enjoyed D4. Me too. I thought D4 was a lot of fun. I feel like like D D4 is like the opposite of PoE. It's like instead of like crazy depth and complexity and a focus on mechanics, it's like a huge focus on presentation and cinematics and story. And it's like it's 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 kind of like a an antithesis. I think it works. It works great. I mean, you know, it, it, it was a lot of fun. I can't wait to play the story in that game. It'll be cool. The more I look into Paragon boards, honestly, the, the less excited I get about them. Apparently, they're like big majority passives, most likely, and, you know, not, not huge build-changing things like I was hoping for. They seem like they'll be okay, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how, how enthused I'm going to be in, like, filling out Paragon boards and stuff. I hope I am. I hope there's nothing interesting stuff in there to make me want to do it, but we'll see. I'm definitely way more excited to do like world clearing and the story and everything. I wonder if decoy is something we should get up. Everyone seemed to love D4, but I thought it was boring. Oh, I think that's fine. I understand why you think that for sure. I gotta say, um, I'm, I mean, it makes sense that it's the first act and everything, but the, the first area definitely was very drab. I mean, just mostly snow and like, you know, dilapidated areas and broken down buildings and stuff. 
the occasional hobble. It was it was kind of a not I don't I don't want to say bland. It was almost depressing. There wasn't like any you know color. Very monotone. to turn in. Level 12 Haipu. We're going to have to see what we want here. I don't know if I've looked at those tiers appropriately. Oh, wait. Uh, 11 Void Resistance. I should probably take that. Is any juicy sponsored streams coming up? Uh, we have a sponsored stream in a couple days, I think. It's a game I played before and I really liked. It's an indie game coming out soon. Yeah. Uh, Opulent says, Nah, D4 was boring. If you want more Diablo story, then that's cool, but as a video game, it's boring AF. I'm not going to argue with your opinion, because your opinion is valid. I found it Stay pretty back. fun and, and I really enjoyed it, but. Run. Yeah, I understand it, man. Oh, Dredge! Yeah, Dredge is coming out soon, isn't it? That's not what I'm doing the sponsor stream for, but... Yeah, Dredge, Dredge is gonna be cool it's pretty soon, isn't it? Uh-oh. Is that this... Is that this one? Is Dredge this one? Yo, what does my shadow do? My shadow just sits there and looks like a jerk. What is, what is he supposed to do? Dude, this guy's gonna take forever. Oh my god. Very difficult. My life regen seems to be kind of nutty. Like an inordinate amount of life, apparently. How's this game going? Oh, this game's great. I've been loving this game. This game's been a huge amount of fun. I'm on my, what, fifth character? Sixth character? Yeah. Is last epoch more challenging than D4? Uh, I don't, I can't answer that. I mean, we've only played the first 25 levels. The, the beta was pretty easy. But I mean, that means nothing of the rest of the game. Good 
Greetings. Okay, let's see. Every third melee throwing or bow attack deals increased damage. You have additional dodge rating and a chance to receive a glancing blow when hit. You have a chance to gain haste for one second on hit and deal increased damage based on your increased movement speed. All right, let's go ahead and start working on this. We can. Wait, I can't? Oh, 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 that was respec. Greetings. There we go. I was Do like, why can't I click on that? I have a point. Rude. Gods be with you. Stay safe. Why am I even by you? Thank you. Please, the gods have long left this world, but their memory will give you comfort. 16% of potion health converted to ward. Let's do this. I guess working on dodge. I guess that's a thing. Get another point there. May I tear a smile upon you? Grab that quest. So we're going this way. Is that simply limeade? Uh, it is Deep Eddie's Lime Vodka. And... Polar Cranberry Lime Spritzer. So it's limeade with a bit of a kick. Yep. Oh, Avalanche, good to know. Okay. You bet he's orange for the win? Yeah, I like their orange. I like all their citrus flavors. Lime, orange, and um, I don't like their grapefruit. The grapefruit, I think, is too flavored. But the orange, the lime, and the... Um, Orange, the lime, and the lemon are all really good. This place kind of sucks for all my characters. Let's see how it is with this guy. It looks like it's going to suck here, too. These guys have a huge amount of HP and they hit pretty hard. We're just gonna get through here pretty much as fast as we can. Classes us a row. These guys hurt so much. Everything hurts so much. No matter what you prioritize, it all hurts and sucks. <laughs> Two 
too easy. Can I just run through this area? Maybe a terrible decision, Jack. We're gonna try it. It's a hardcore run. Yep. Yeah, screw this area. <laughs> uh, Felly, not yet now. Hundred percent critty. Like that. I do like a hundred percent critty. That is so much better. Spicy Panda. I've saved at these points for years. I just want to tell you that you're such an amazing man role model. You changed my life more than you'll even know, and I can't thank you enough. One day I hope to pay you back. Keep sending good vibes around the world. Spicy Panda with the highlighted message. Well, that's super nice, you buddy. Good vibes to you. Hey. Thanks, man. Thank you. That is awesome. That is awesome. I very much appreciate it. Very nice of you. I just broke all that stuff. How do you like Last Epoch? I really enjoy it. A lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Been really digging it. hit a dash here so if i get cast shadow cascade at the end of a shift but i don't actually have shadow cascade will it still cast it it does let's try it hey look at that Ooh. Looks like i'm cheating a little bit Badass. Apparently, I cast it when I leave too. Yeah, Julia. Yeah. Pretty wild. Oh, dude. It actually does decent damage too. Hold up. Hold up. just went way up with this. Easy. Too easy.
Boom. Beauteous. Profit crits, they just basically die. One of these guys ended my first primalist run. You have to be a little bit careful with this guy. Okay. More of this. What's our next stuff? Increased damage while dual wielding. Okay, that's huge. When you use a skill that costs zero mana and hidden enemy, you regain health and mana. Good. I feel like every class has this. Uh, you have a chance to poison on hit while you have a dagger or bow equipped. Ballista I wasn't a big fan of. I felt like it was a little underpowered. What is Umbral Blades? Combo ability that throws two blades, then four blades, then recalls all blade in the blades in the ground back to you, hitting enemies along the way. An enemy can be hit by multiple blades from the same throw and by multiple blades from the recall. Okay. Hmm. That seems like it could be fun. That seems very similar to the thing that I was playing in Diablo, actually, weirdly enough. Kind of fun. But we'll find out more of that tomorrow. Thank you, chat. I appreciate y'all being here tonight. Another fun night in this game. We'll be playing more of this for sure tomorrow. I don't know when exactly, but we will. Uh, please excuse the chat being dead. We've been having all sorts of infrastructure issues tonight. Our our main hosting service went down, so we're, you know, they can do with what we can. On that note, more Rogue gameplay tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed it tonight. Should be good. And I will see you fine folks then. And I think we're going to start with Contraband Police tomorrow. We're going to do that at the beginning. And then probably Lost Epoch in the afternoon or maybe something different. And then probably lost epoch in the evening, so it'll be fun. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Bye-bye.